First on WAND News at 6, a Decatur man sentenced. Today, a judge sentenced Paul Folks to 55 years in prison for the murder of Shamila Sanders. The mother of two was killed under the Garfield Bridge in June of 2020. That was in Decatur. Today, the 22-year-old's family faced the man who killed her. WAND's Karen Iser breaks down the emotional messages from the Sanders family to Paul Folks. He took a lot from us. Shamila Sanders had the world at her fingertips, a mother of two, a bright light in the Sanders family. She had a, a life ahead of her. She was a manager. She loved life. She loved to smile. She loved to laugh. She, she loved to have fun. On Wednesday, a judge sentenced the man who shot and killed the 22-year-old under the Garfield Bridge in June 2020. Her father, Shemuel, facing her killer, who he knew, in court. After that, I was in a dark place. And you know how I was back in the day. So I thank God that he changed me to who I am today. 43-year-old Paul Folks will spend 55 years behind bars for killing Shamila, but in the courtroom before her family, he continued to maintain his innocence. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And don't think for once, I ain't thought about your daughter every time I sit in here. I'm going to always think about it. Always. I apologize for y'all having to go through this, but I'm not the one that did it. A day of sadness and some closure for the Sanders family. Now they say it's about supporting one another and keeping Shamila's name alive. I don't care how much I do out here in this community. We cannot bring Shamila back, but we can make sure her name live on. And that's what we're going to do as a family and make sure that Shamala name live on. Indicator, Karen Iser, WAND News. Folks must serve 100% of his 55-year prison sentence. He will get credit for time he served in the Macon County Jail.